What's up, uh, Maiden? You are watching my barn conversion vlog. I've been home for a few days and because I kind of had enough. I'm back. I've still had enough. I don't really want to be here, to be honest, but lacking motivation. I've just had enough of the weather. It's muddy, it's cold, it's horrible, I'm tired. But we're here. We're going to crack on. Today, this episode, I'm going to frame out this gable lens. I've bought my door so I know what size to do everything, so stay tuned. A bit more awake now. It's uh, the afternoon. I've been doing other stuff on the barn. Uh, Dan's on crew. He's up there sorting himself out. Uh, I've had him put round the bits that I'd missed around the sides and now we're just about to stud out for the top. I'm not sure you can see all these little numbers drawn on here. But this is what we're doing. So when you frame out a door, you have these that goes across there. I can't remember where, what everything's called. King studs, jack studs, is that the one? But yeah, we've worked out exactly what we need to do. So we're going to mark everything out. We'll whack the studs in and go from there. Next day, I was still a bit defeated and like a mm, bit rubbishy, but I'm a bit more awake now. This is getting right on my bloody nerves. It's unbelievable. We're double tarped and there's the prote protective coating on it and it's gaffer taped and it's still water getting through. I really need to get this roof on before like I need to lay a new floor basically which is going to cost more money i can't believe it's getting through the double tarps so let's talk you through this now we learned our lesson over the other side because we got a few in and we didn't actually pack out the edge so if you remember down here i've got rsb so it's going to be flat to this we forgot this gap over the other side we've been buying two nails and then we straighten it, screw it from the top. And obviously over here, we've got a packer as well, just to pack it out. It's two screws in the other side. And then I'll go back and I'll nail the rest in, and make it all secure. It was right the other day. So this one here is a king stud. This one just inside is a jack stud. This is a header, which is doubled up and it faces the other way. And them little ones up there, they're called cripple studs. I just sent Dan to make some tea. I don't usually drink tea, or I haven't done, since like the beginning of time. And I might have had like maybe five or six cups of tea a year. But I've just started drinking it now because it's a, it's a good opportunity to have a break. This cement mix is getting right on my tits. I don't know whether you can hear it. It's one of the reasons why I wanted to move out to the countryside because I can't stand them like drones of like traffic and everything. 
really stresses me out. The sun's come out, eh? It just feels so much better. I know. I'm talking to the camera, Dan. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's glorious. We're gonna board this now. We've had to do some kind of like contraption to get the water away. So it runs from there, over there. The drains can't go in yet because there's too much water and Sean's saying it will just like pop out. So we're just gonna leave it for now. I'm gonna have scaffolding. I've got to go. We've got the last bit to do and this is the third time we've cut this and a moron. <laughs> So we've just been treating all the wood and we've done the top of the rafters because we won't be able to get to that area once it's all battened and felted. I'll be able to spray the inside later on so it's not that important. I think we're, we're going to wrap up today. Um, I'm looking forward to having some grub and some wine. If you haven't noticed already I've got a nice tall belt here. If you fancy one there's a link in the description. Go and buy one if you might need one because I'll get a couple of pence from it and you definitely need these wellies, don't you? Go and grab a pair. So I was hoping to film a little bit more for this episode, but it's not going to happen. It's raining. I've tented up the middle now to try and save my flooring. And we've treated the top of the rafters. I'll do the inside later. The tile's turned up. So everything's ready to rock and roll nearly. Um, I've got my windows as well, my V-luxes. I've delayed my door until the following week. I'm just waiting for the scaffolders now because uh, they're coming to do another lift on the barn and we're going to do that at the same time. If you haven't already, please do subscribe, hit the bell notification. Thanks for watching, I'll see you later.